In today's video, we're taking you to a little island in the Caribbean, Antigua. It had been a few years since we last traveled to the Caribbean, so to say we were excited was an understatement. And because our visit also happened to coincide with Antigua Sailing Week, there was quite literally even more reason to celebrate. So in this video, we're going to show you some fun things to do in Antigua and take you along to some of the Sailing Week related activities. All right, guys, it is our first morning here on the island. We're staying at the Veranda Resort. Beautiful, sunny day. Yeah, We're just gorgeous, having like... one dilemma right now, <laughs> deciding between the pool or the beach. It's a tough call, guys, but we've got to make it. Which um, one? Pool. Pool? I we're think we're going to do the pool. <laughs> pool first yeah. and then beach because there's a restaurant with a grill. Yeah. And yeah. We've already like got lunch, lunch on our mind too. So a little bit of splashing around and then we're going to eat. So first order of business, I need to ensure my redhead doesn't burn on his first day on the island or then he'll leave me alone to go to the beach by are, myself. There are some advantages, disadvantages I should say to being <laughs> ginger. And I, I fry up like a lobster so I do need to seek out shade. I will be jumping in the pool anyways. Excellent. Let's do it. Ready for the pool? And how's that water, Audrey? The water is refreshing. It felt a little bit chilly when I first got in, but now that I'm actually in the pool, <laughs> it feels really nice. So you should come and join me. Okay. So that was the pool. Next up, beach time. Beach time. All right guys, so we have now made it over to the main beach here at our resort and it's pretty cool. It looks like you can do a whole bunch of water sports. They have catamarans, kayaks, paddle boats. I think we're probably going to save that for tomorrow right now. I just want to go into the water because it's this turquoise like crystal clear color and it's just a little too inviting. Also guys, I don't think I've mentioned yet that here in Antigua they have 365 beaches. That's one beach for every day of the year and we're just enjoying one of them here at the resort. <laughs> That's crazy. Imagine making that your project for the year to go to every beach one on the beach, island. A new beach every that day. That would be oh. a dream. A dream <laughs> my friends. So it's funny how quickly the weather changes when you're on a tropical island like we had sunshine, blue skies so just a few moments ago and now there's like rain showers yeah. happening. So we found some cover, ordered some food. <laughs> and it's Ooh. here. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's right <laughs> Thank here. you very much. Just in time. That's great timing. Thank you. Special. Thank, Thank you. you. Best timing ever. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, we ordered two cheeseburgers with fries. We're having coconut smoothies. And yeah, this Wonderful. is going to be good. It's lunchtime. And a little wad on top. Mm. Oh, thank you. All right, burger time. Trying to oh, assemble man. that craving a burger food. after all that swimming. How is wow. that? A surreal deal. Nice and juicy burger. Love the cheese added. Lots of barbecue sauce. Freshness and the juiciness of all the vegetables. It's awesome. a nice burger. It's a nice burger. So today we are taking part in Chase the Race. We are here in Antigua during Antigua Sailing Week. So all week long everyone's been racing around the island. Yeah. Today we're gonna get to see what today's, that race is all about. Today's the big day. The catamaran yeah. over there in the back. We're gonna spend the day out at sea. I think we're also gonna have lunch at some point. And then I've heard we may be stopping Rumors at a beach. Rumors of beach time, right? Rumors of beach, <laughs> Rumors time? Of beach time? What is this? It's so great. yeah, it should be fun. Let's do it. So the race is about to begin. We've got all the sailboats out on the water and we're just following along. 
number one tip I can give you guys bring a gravel. <laughs> I'm gravity. okay. I'm, my my oh. gravel is fruit punch and rum. <laughs> oh my god. No, but it's really cool. Like the water looks beautiful. It's like this deep blue and all the sailboats I just, are out. I can't believe how many sailboats there are, to be honest. It's yeah. so unbelievable everywhere you look. Antigua Sailing Week started back in 1968 when a group of friends decided to hold a regatta. Because quite a few in the group worked in the tourism industry, the objective of the regatta was to extend the winter season by getting people to stay on the island just a little bit longer. And well, today it's become one of the biggest events of the year. It's time for a swim, we've chased the race. Now it's time just to jump into the water and enjoy it. Let's do this! Yeah, <laughs> It is now time for lunch. Yeah. So we just finished enjoying a wonderful swim. The water was so warm. Also, I'm not feeling dizzy anymore, so this is great. And food is ready. They just called us in. So we're having some rice and beans, fried fish. We have a macaroni pie, some garlic bread, sweet potatoes, chicken. This is looking great. It's been a wonderful day out at sea. It has been. It sure has been. I think we still have some more time, too. Mm, we do more swimming. And because the Sailing Week celebrations were happening, we also got to enjoy Reggae in the Park, featuring international artists. Alright guys, so the plan this afternoon is to take a cooking class. We have signed up for a cooking with rum course at yeah. Nicole's table. So excited to learn how to cook with rum. We've never yeah. done it before. Never? Never, never. So let's go try it. It's no secret that we love to eat, so we were very excited to learn how to prepare a few Caribbean dishes, all of them featuring rum. Cooking with rum. So we've got the recipes. Our group is already in there getting started, but I'm gonna let you know what we're gonna be preparing today. So, coconut crisps and plantain chips, sweet potato soup with rum. Ooh. Soup with rum. My goodness. Then we're having rum and brown sugar marinated flank steak with onion jam. Yeah. And we've already worked on that. Yes, we have. And plantains wrapped in bacon, oh. red beans and rice, a rainbow garden salad, and then for dessert, a butter rum cake. Like seriously, that's the, that's the menu. That's the menu. So what are you making? A marinade, I believe. Got some sugar, mustard, and yeah. And you're just working it. I didn't really know what you're doing. <laughs> Everyone hard working here in the kitchen. What are you making? We have just added some coconut milk to some sauteed onions, yeah. and we're gonna make a coconut milk soup, and it's now delicious. I came all the way over here. Just oh Look my gosh, that looks so good. And in between all the cooking, there was also time for a rum tasting, which was a pleasant surprise. We're trying an assortment from all over. Like this one particular one is from Guadeloupe. Yeah. We're trying local ones from Antigua. We're also trying French ones as well, and other from ones from Spain. the Caribbean. Yeah. All over, it's just fantastic. The meal turned out wonderful and we really enjoyed getting to share it with other travelers. We had seconds, thirds, and then it was time for a mouth-watering cake. And last but not least, rum cake. OMG! And it's like soaked up all the rum. It tastes really Ooh. good. Yum.
Alright guys, so it is a Sunday night and there's only one place to be here in Antigua. Shirley Heights, this is where everyone gathers. It doesn't matter if you're a local or you're a tourist. There's live music, barbecue, rum. I think we should probably drink some rum. Yeah, and, and an incredible sunset too. <laughs> yes, the sunset too. That's why we came. Cheers. Cheers. We are now just following this little trail that heads down from Shirley Heights and we are getting some amazing views. The sun is about to go down. We've got some golden light. You can see the whole harbor. So yeah, just wait for that. Wait for that. All right guys, so another day here in Antigua. We spent the morning at the beach and then by the pool, cooling off with a few drinks. And right now we're at Galley Bay. It's another resort uh, really close to St. John's, the capital. So we're gonna be having lunch here. And then afterwards, if the rain holds off, the plan is to actually go into St. John's and see a bit of the capital, you know, show you the town. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I think I'm gonna fall asleep now, seriously. <laughs> Never smell better, Sam. I know. <laughs> Cheers, my man. Cheers to bromancing. Awesome. We're gonna look each other in the eyes when we do it. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> that was creepy. <laughs> Rob, why don't you explain what you got first? What are you I, having? I have the, it's called the trio of home smoked fish. There's some yellowfin tuna, there's some marlin in there, and there's some swordfish. Looks good. Looks yeah. really good. And I've got a hummus trio over here, and it's got intersecting chips. And Audrey, what do you have? I went vegan with pumpkin soup. And yeah, let's enjoy. Let's Dig in. All right. Yeah. Really Look at that. Of hummus. Mm. Oh yeah, the hummus is good. It's got a nice richness to it, and you can really taste the beans. So this is a really nice appetizer. I'm glad it's not too big. So I want to have lots of room for the main and dessert. All right, all right. How do you feel about eating on camera? I don't know. I feel pretty good. Um, I don't know which one's which, but we're gonna go for this one. This one's caught my eye. Mm. I just love smoked fish, and yeah. this isn't disappointing. I think this is the elephant tuna, but hey, I could be wrong. Also, I'm curious to see how many of our viewers will recognize Rob. He's made a few appearances over yes, the years. I have, and sure there's more to come. Scotland, your basement. Yeah. <laughs> your basement in Ottawa. So the mains have arrived, and before we dig in, we're going to give you a little tour. Starting with yours, chicken breast, mashed potatoes, some yeah. veg, looks good. Roberto Smooth, Roberto what smooth. I've got yeah. the Mahi Mahi. Yeah. If you're gonna be on an island, why not? Why it's not? delicious. It's got a pesto sauce and some small red potatoes. Awesome. And what do you got, Audrey? And I went vegetarian, so I'm having the eggplant with cilantro and carrots. So All right, begin. bon appetit, dig in. I, I, bon appetit. I really gotta say, I've got envy. You've got yeah. envy of me, and I've got envy of Audrey right <laughs> We've now. We've all wanted each other's dishes. So we decided to do a roasted cardamom donut with papaya and mango lime marinated with rum. Also a coconut cream and some fresh sliced coconuts. So dessert has arrived, and the coolest thing is we got to see actually how this was prepared. <laughs> Looks like there's some cream. We've got a ton of fruit. But yeah, I'm not touching that fruit. I'm just going in for the donut. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big bite. Oh, it was really good. All right, guys, it is time for dinner here on the island. Tonight we're eating at the Pineapple Beach Club. This is our first time over to this resort, even though it's like right across from ours, the veranda, and they have a restaurant called The Outhouse.
All right guys, for tonight's dinner, we're having another Caribbean barbecue. So I grabbed a little bit of everything. What's B ready at the moment. you I got some ribs. You know what? I, I, just, sauce. I just want to point something out. I think we may be the first people served. I'm the first person eating. I yeah. didn't wait till they call anyone over. We're the ultimate foodies. So. I was just like, <laughs> we can't wait. <laughs> we're, we ask, can we eat now? And they're like, okay, yeah. <laughs> why so, not? Barbecue ribs, potato barbecue. salad. Yeah. We have a pasta salad with pesto. We have some corn cooked on the grill so yeah this all is looking wonderful it's a bit windy up here I have to say we're like up on a hill we do get some lovely views we've so, got yeah. we've got lovely blue hour right now we the do? sun just set man let's dig into the ribs Indeed. that's what I'm waiting for oh man get after it check this out doesn't Whoa. that look so good let's sop up some sauce get after it mm. tasty it's so tender and the barbecue sauce is so sweet. Oh my gosh. So I've got ribs, corn on the cob, different salads. I've even got steak here. This is a feast of feasts. This is only my first plate. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, so good. So sweet, smoky, and the meat's tender. Probably going to be going back for more of these for sure. And last but not least, we made some time to visit the capital of Antigua, St. John's. rain holding us back a few days yes so yeah now really excited to be here they have lots of colorful buildings so we're just gonna walk around see what we find yeah. maybe cool off with a drink at some point so this place big banana was recommended to us sure we're was. not quite hungry yet and you know what they but specialize we do intend in pizzas we'll be back for food and I don't ever really need an excuse to eat pizza now do I <laughs> Initially, our plan had been to try and find some Caribbean food in town, but everyone kept suggesting Big Banana, so that's where we ended up. So we've been walking around maybe an hour, hour, hour and a half, yeah, hour, hour and a half. Anyways, it got hot out there yes. in the sun, so we came back to Big Banana. Smoothie time, I got the strawberry smoothie. Yeah. Sam went with a coconut crush. This drink has become a tradition yes. since we've been here at I, the resort. I don't, yeah, I don't even want to know how many I've had. I want to know what's the <laughs> max number of coconut crushes you had in one day. <laughs> one day. Three or four for sure. I'd even venture and say five. Oh my gosh, that's scary. <laughs> They're that really scary. good. It's basically coconut cream, yeah. sugar, and ice. Yeah. And how about yours? Mm. Mine's really good. It's strawberries, ice, really refreshing. So yeah, now we're just waiting for the pizzas because apparently at Big Banana you order pizzas. That's yeah. what they are known for. So Sam and I have decided to share our pizzas because they both look so good. Yeah. We just couldn't resist getting a little bit of each. Yeah, so you got the pepperoni one. I got the pepperoni one. Yours is loaded with meat. It looks mighty fine from over here, your pepperoni. Mm. If I could say so. It tastes mighty fine. What's going on is this pizza is called the Meat Lovers. And my gosh, they did not skimp out on the toppings. If you take a look down here, I know that we've got, I think there's chicken, there's pulled pork, there's beef, and maybe even some sausage. bacon. I think oh, sorry, sausage, sausage. Sausage, I should say. So there is a lot going on, and I have pepperoni too. That. Mm. Oh, that's good. Wow. It's really meaty, but it's also really cheesy too. And I really like the sauce here. Nice crust. Yeah, this is just a really, really good quality pizza. Like, if you're, if you're in doubt, Definitely come and get a slice here. It's really tasty. At the big banana. The big banana. Big banana. And that's a wrap for Antigua. We hope you guys enjoyed exploring this Caribbean island with us and be sure to let us know what island you'd like to see us explore next. Wishing you happy travels and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.